In this lecture, we will talk about the relationships between ISO 27001 and other related standards of the ISO 27000 family. To make things easier to understand, we will be using a mind map to demonstrate the connections between selected standards and visualize how they all relate to ISO 27001. As the center of our mind map, we have ISO 27001. This is the international standard that specifies the requirements for an information security management system, or an ISMS in short. This is also the standard that organizations can get certified against. ISO 27001 contains several requirements documented in the clauses 4 through 10 and Annex A. The related standards mostly provide additional guidelines on how to implement these requirements. Let's begin with ISO 27000. This standard contains basic vocabulary and terms and definitions for the ISO 27000 family of standards. This means the definitions within this standard apply to all the standards that you can see here on this mind map and in its entirety in the list of ISO 27000 standards. So let's drag this standard a little up and expand it. And now you can see the table of contents of this standard. And within subclause 3, terms and definitions, this is where the terms are actually defined. So I'm not going to expand this note because I would just crash the window. But here you can see some of the terms that are actually defined within this um, section. So you get a lot of information in there and it's really helpful to get a solid understanding on the, on the world of ISO 27001. Um, another very popular standard is ISO 27002. This standard provides um, an implementation guidance on the security controls as provided in Annex A. Um, let me just drag it over there and let's expand it. We're going to collapse these. We'll get into more detail later. But as you can see, um, the structure is quite similar. So the controls provided in Annex A map directly to the controls or to the, to the implementation guidance provided in ISO 27002. Same applies for ISO 27003. Um, let's move over here. This standard provides an implementation guidance on the actual system requirements that are stated in clauses 4 through 10. So if we expand that and move it a little down, then Again, we can see that there's a one-to-one a -one mapping, so for context of the organization, context of the organization, and so on. So it provides a direct implementation guidance on how to implement these requirements. ISO 27005 provides um, additional information on how to conduct risk assessments and how to treat risk. Um, risk management is a key function within ISO 27001. So, um, but this standard goes into a lot of detail, and provides a lot of um, hands-on um, tips and tricks on how to, to get that job done. Um, it's also very ex a very extensive standard, as you can tell. Um, there's really a lot of information in there. So definitely uh, worth to have a look at that. ISO 27007 provides um, guidance on how to conduct internal audits. ISO 27004 is more about how to monitor, measure, and analyze an ISMS. So it's um, centered around KPIs, management in general, and so on. And ISO IACTS 2008 um, has um, some information about how to assess the effectiveness of security controls. Now, if we expand these standards and zoom out a little bit, then you can see that um, it's quite complex, but this mind map is supposed to help you. Um, as you can see, the ISO 27000 family of standards offers a comprehensive approach to information security, with each standard providing specific guidance on different aspects of information security management. By understanding the relationships between these standards and how they all relate to ISO 27001, organizations can establish a efficient management system that provides sufficient protection for their information assets. This course comes with several mind maps, including the one that I just showed you. 
make sure to download them and start to familiarize yourself with the standards and their relationships between them. You can find all of them as a downloadable resource as part of this article. The course provides you with a mind note, a free mind, and a PDF file for each of the mind maps. This should allow everybody to access and utilize the files.